All right, make sure that we tell everybody that they have to like and subscribe and watch this YouTube channel. The vlog is back, baby. The vlog is back. Now watch me. Get him. Get him. <laughs> guys it is Monday morning July 30th and me and Kurt are on our way down the gym so today we got our podcast if you follow me you know me and Joey and Kurt do our podcast every week we give out picks we talk about the fights talk about bullshit talk about whatever's going on in Joey's life which is always something new and yeah, so we're really trying to push this podcast. I think it's good. Um, we have a lot of fun doing it. It's ran by Steady Picks, who they've been a sponsor of mine for a long time. Really good people. They're from Philly, so it makes it even better working with them. But yeah, so we got the podcast. We're gonna train at 10. I got strength and, strength and conditioning afterwards with my boy Gabe. And then I'll do some kind of training at night. I might have a a grappling match coming up very soon so wait for some news on that but so i'll probably do some grappling tonight and i'll get in all my mma stuff this morning so no fight news yet but um i know they're coming to new york relatively soon so i'll be training and just waiting to see what's up ufc 291 just passed we will be talking about it a lot in about uh 25 minutes so make sure you tune in for steady picks for the new app probably be out uh today's monday probably out tomorrow but um yeah great card i did not expect justin gaethje to head kick uh dustin very very surprised that happened um especially just because like justin's more known of he's a like he has very good kicks but he's more of like a like a leg kicker you don't really throw him you don't see him throw too many head kicks and the way he set up that um same side kick he threw the cross and uh, he had poor anything about that, and he threw the kick right behind it. So it was beautiful, and it's even crazier that a year ago, Leon Edwards did it to Gaethje's teammate. So Gaethje got it on that side, his teammate got it, and then Gaethje got it back. So it was cool to see. Um, we're going to talk about the Jan fight with Alex Pereira. I thought Jan won, um, but uh, I guess control doesn't mean anything anymore. So. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Kevin Holland looked good. Um, Tony Ferguson looked a lot better than I thought he was going to look, but I think he should still hang it up. He lost six fights in a row. I don't think the UFC is going to want to give that one back. And then Terrence Crawford looked like a motherfucker. It's a beautiful day in Philadelphia. We just got over a fucking hot ass heat wave. So, you know it's real when you gotta carry two bags up. This is training shit for Gabe's afterwards, and this is the real training shit. So, while I didn't have a gallon, they fucking let me down. Yeah, hopefully today. I mean, it's hot. It's been like fucking 90 up in this bitch. It probably won't be as bad. I think I got this key. Nope. I have it though. I just don't know which one it is. You got it? I'm gonna have it. Oh, I think this is it. Eighty nine. God damn.
podcast and stuff is hard work, man. It's a commitment. Uh, I really, you gotta appreciate the people who put out podcasts like a few times a week because it's hard. Uh, and I'm not even editing it or doing any of that shit. That's Kurt behind the camera and the guys at Steady Picks. So this is a full time job, especially when you have a co host who likes to show up late. It is 9 12, and Joey Piper is nowhere in sight. Oh. Tell me if you recorded though. I will. Because Joey might say something <laughs> that he'll regret. I texted him, this motherfucker might not be awake. He didn't answer me. When you see this, when you see this, you're in trouble. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please Goodbye. try your call again later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Looks like it's just me and Kurt today. Swinging, you're in the kitchen. If you're in the kitchen, motherfucker, you gotta move. You can't swing and stay there like this. You th they throw it wild. Swing, step out the range. All right. Remember, you're not shooting. They shooting. Yes, sir. Go. You gotta stick and move. Stick and move. Who's this for, man? For Brady, man. Brady. Yeah. Make sure you follow my boy's podcast. You hear me? Within the range, motherfucker. Follow that shit. Don't be a fucking hater. Round's over. So, how are you a professional athlete? I gave this kid multiple sets of gear and he shows up on MMA day with no gloves. These fucking guys, bro. These fucking guys. Who'd you just borrow them from? Who'd you just borrow them from, you crumb bum?
Yeah, damn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Lee. Go the jab. If you're tired, use the jab. That's keeping him away. Yo, you have to, you have to move your fucking head more. This is not moving your head. You understand? Yeah. Remember, in the pocket, we gotta move, Jay. In and out of the pocket. In and out of the pocket. In, hit, move, change your level, make him think about it, come up top. How do you pronounce Gunner, Gunner's guy's name? How do you pronounce Gunner's guy's name? Uh, Pardus? Something like that? Jay, push and pull, Jay. Push and poop. Hey, let's go, Gunner. Get that shot, Gunner, and that, that sub. Nice, nice, nice. Pressure. Push your head down. Push your head down. Push your head down. Punch, 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 punch. Yeah. Come on, feet down. <laughs> Explode, feet down. Explode. Come on, make him pay. Make him pay now. Feet down. Make him pay, feet down. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice jab. Nice jab. Let's go, Fidal. Let's go, Fidal. Ooh. Dabla, let's go. Don't let go of that jab, Fidal. Don't let go of that jab. Uppercut, 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 Fidal. Ooh. Jab, uppercut. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Hey, Dabla, Dabla. Pass that block. Hook, bokeh. Oh, John, John. Uh, so like, where, where, you know, where Brady is right now, like what, where is he? Like where is he in his, his, his career, where he's going, his growth, everything like that. What is it, where is he, where is he headed, what is he doing? Brady, Brady, listen, uh, had a couple hiccups with, with health, you know, some infections and shit, shit that happens on the mat. Um, staying busy, he's staying busy. 
Um, main thing is, he's fucking ready, man. Brady is, Brady's more than ready. Um, it's, it's, he has to know in his mind, the motherfucker has everything it takes to be a world champion, you know? So, um, it, it's, it's all about the mindset. He's ready, man. He works, he works every fucking day, you know? Goes overtime and everything, so... Um, he, uh, he has to realize he, he, got, he got what it takes. He got what it takes to, to do this shit every day. This motherfucker could fight every week if he wanted to, so... Um, he's ready, look. Fucking hammering somebody the fuck down. So, it's all about the mindset, man. This game is 90% mindset. Um, as long as he, he, he knows and he realizes who he is as a fighter, nobody can stop this motherfucker, you know? So it's, it's all about here, between the ears. As long as he knows and he, and he realizes, yo, this is who I am, I got this shit, nobody can stop this All right, guys, we are in the horrible state of New Jersey, heading to strength and conditioning. Just came from a nice practice. Uh, Coach John tried to kill us, it was hot in there. So it was good, but now I'm about to go get a lift in. We, me and Kurt did our podcast. It should just be the Brady Kurt show or something like that because Joey, Joey just doesn't show up. It's fucking crazy. Like you would think he was a part of it, but I guess I guess not. We uh, Kurt caught a clip, and unfortunately the audio got fucked up. But it was me calling Joey at nine o'clock when he was supposed to be there, and this fucking guy was still sleeping. He's home, right? I was in like yeah. Yeah, practice. practice. I think the last time I watched wrestling, fucking. Fifth, sixth grade. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt likes that shit. When they, when they split, when WWF went to like half went to WCW, all that other shit. I, I, I always knew it was fake. So. Yeah, but I, <laughs> nah, 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 I didn't. I, I just never, I just never got into it. Yeah, Monday Night Raw was like shit. Yeah, I just never got into it for some reason. Monday Night Raw was. Yeah, Monday Night Raw was the shit. To. Try to look over that shoulder, just moving nothing else. Don't move anything else. Try to look over that shoulder, over that shoulder. Now start the rotation on the back. And now try to look over that left shoulder as far as you can. Try to get that. Don't move anything else. Try to look over that shoulder as much as you can. Now down on the chin. Now back, reverse the same other way. Let's go four, four, each way. Same shirt I had on the last time I saw right here. Consistency. Straight across the chest. And then same thing. So, oh, 25 and switch go underhand. 25 for our 50 total. A little more uh, vertical touch. There you go. I want that shoulder and like flexion like that. Half white. Exactly, just trying to move into flexion. Just trying to get a lot of uh, reps down there in, in shoulder flexion. I actually texted the dude Mark that I need to get new rocks and uh, he's gonna send them to me. He was like, thank you God. Thank you so much for all the recommendations. He's like, I got you, I'll just send you some. Good, I like at least you got something out of it. Yeah. 10 seconds. Five. Two. One. Time. Split and give me that little bit of a split position, a little bit lower, like into the into a lunge. There you go. There it is. And then just rake in hard as you can. Eight seconds. Ready? Go. Chest up. Chest up. Relax. And push that down a little bit. It's a little too high. Switch sides. Yeah, switch sides. But yeah, just full range, just fucking trying to yank it. Ready? 
Go. There it is. And relax. There you go. Eight of them. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Ah, boy. All right, now we're gonna be, so you have plyo push-ups, but I want actually, so we're just using the Bulgarian bag, but I want you actually coming off on it. Same, eight. These we have uh, two sets on. So I just throw it onto it? Yeah, off of it. Off, <laughs> off of it, yeah. So you're going all the way, throwing oh, yourself up, catching, throwing on yourself. The on the bag, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight of them, yeah. This one we got two sets on. Yep. All right, eight. One, two, three, five, get up. Get up. Good rest. Got 30 seconds off. Got one more of these. Just regular. Yeah. Three, three, three. We're gonna put uh, our lightest bands on it yet. Uh, just red, but just single loop at the bottom. Okay. Kurt, tell uh, tell Gabe the name of that country singer from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we was talking about Luke Combs, right? Yeah. I don't know about Luke Combs, but I just heard about that at his concert uh, yeah. this weekend. So when I posted on my page, I was like, uh, I, was like, I don't Luke know who Luke Combs is, but every white person I know is at this fucking <laughs> same event. So I, somebody said, you don't know Luke Combs? I said, explain it to me in a, in a different way. He said, all right, man. He said, if, uh, he said, if this no, no, opposite, is opposite, guy, opposite. Luke Combs is Jesus Christ, right? So yep. <laughs> I was trying to tell him to him, so I was like, the dude was like, I, I thought he said Mark Whalen. <laughs> like, Come on. I was like, he said, he said yeah, Mark yeah. Whalen is guy. Luke Combs. We were doing our podcast right I was like, Mark Whalen. Mark Whalen, nine. <laughs> Who the fuck is Mark Whalen? <laughs> I mean, Morgan Wilder. Right. You had like a little combo, <laughs> like. <laughs> Who the fuck is two pack? How's Wild? He did back to backs. Oh, God. To do a. Did, right? Did she have yeah. a fight at the concert? Nah. Yeah. He Dude. What? He did back to back. You know how hard it is to sell out a stadium, and then how hard it is to do back to back. Two shows that day. Friday and Saturday. Oh, it's Friday. He sold them both out. Both out. Dang. That's so oh, hard to do. Beast, bro. I didn't. I mean, I knew he's. A, I didn't know he was like that, especially in Philadelphia. Nine. But this. This is just our warm up. Nine. Speed, remember speed, and then I'll, we have to actually have the uh, the speed on it. Good. Hot. Good. What are our reps again? Three. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Go regular grip, regular grip. Three. Okay. This is still our warm up set, so it's not our, but still three. But I'm going to see where we are at speed wise. 0. 0.94. 0. 0.9. 0. 0.96, good. So right around. What do we have here? One, 160? No, no, one. No, I mean the weight. 0. 0.8 to one, oh, 160, yeah. yeah. So, so let's throw a 10 on and see how we get. Movement detected. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I bought these socks because, uh, like, I bought them for, like, when I'm riding. Just do my, I'm, like, my feet, it was so humid, my fucking feet were getting soaking wet inside my shoes and they were like cracking like my fucking my toenails so supposedly these are supposed to keep your shit dry yeah. uh now same thing normal grip ah yeah normal grip fuck what you this up? yeah I, I tell you like five so times a day like, uh, like you yeah. missed the clock or something uh five yeah Five reps? Regular grip. I just want to make sure we're above that 0 0.85. 0 0.85 is our goal. Whoop. 0 0.9, 0 0.76, 0 0.93, 0 0.89. It'll be there. 35, 45, 55. Yeah. Two and a half. Okay. Gabe be fucking always smacking this shit. It's the worst. Why he be walking in like this? And the only thing you do is the same thing you do. You just have to shut up and just take it. 
Movement detected. Yeah, I know, bitch. Ten seconds. Okay. Right. Point six nine. Point eight nine. Oh, it's fucked up. Yeah. I just have a good sap on it. Not your best. That's right. Nah, I knew like right away. I was here on the bench. All right, this, this thing will tell us on your rest too. I should just set it up to the iPad. I have an iPad too. 48. So last one of wide and then we'll go to close grip. Will we ever fuck with chains or no? Yeah. It's, it's just a comedy. Right now this is our lightest. This isn't like any like special Let's say again? I was trying to make sure this wasn't like nothing personal. No, no, no. Good. Oh boy. Way over. Good job. Now three normal. Three normal. Rest time begin. So now you should be hitting one. One meter per second, no problem. But it's our good for our wide grip anyway. Yeah. You're gonna feel those big time. You have to do less effort. So if you want more on that, yeah, you stick each one, okay. and that'll put more high bar velocity, but if you're hitting your chest every time, it's gonna slow down that momentum. Because it's, it's just measuring what it's doing. You're pushing more every time you're putting the effort into it. Okay. So you just gotta move every one. They call that uh, compository acceleration. Like max intent every single rip. Um, no, yeah, I, I do it in Utah. This thing, it's cool. Dude, what? I guess they like, they have those things you can fucking ski down, like uh, that the, like a Olympic training center shit or whatever it is. Like ten seconds. Oh, the indoor, the indoor ten seconds. Yeah, it was indoor. They have outdoor ones. Five, four, three, two. Come on. One. Rest time. Point nine three. Point nine one. Oh boy, those are, those are three solid numbers. <laughs> She's like, good boy, good boy. <laughs> Move this thing over. It's gonna be three by 15, so let's let's just say like our warm up set, you just use 30s just to like. Three by 15? Three by 15, so yeah, that it's, it's that little bit of higher volume where it's like, and with this, I just want you getting used to it. Yep, first one. So just, I have it on 30 right now, so just one. But I just want you to kind of warm up and then you could gauge if you want. I'm guessing 50 first. I'm that, yeah. But I just want you getting used to that unilateral movement first. Let's, uh, that, 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 there you go. Uh, show you for MMA athlete? <laughs> kind of, yes. Oh, bro? <laughs> yes. Dude, I, so I worked with Glazer, and I had like, <laughs> I've had Rashad Evans, like Chuck Liddell, Randy Couture, but they weren't my guys. Like, they were all at the end of their careers, and they all like, I've worked with all of them, but like. Green, right? 50? 50's green, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't doing their, their programming from start to finish. Chael Sonnen. I've worked with all those dudes, but no, none of them were my guy. When DC, when he was fighting uh, one of John's fights, he came in like three times a week. Here? But he, no, 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 in California, yeah. California. Jay Glazer, he was like a big in MMA, and he had all those guys over there. So I had worked with a bunch of them, but never like any of my, my yeah, own yeah, guys. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. He's had boxers, though. My f boxers, yeah, I've had a ton of boxers, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if it was like your first. Who'd you have, who was the kid's name that fought? Um, Will Tom, oh, uh, Mike Lee. Did you see Caleb playing smack the shit? Bro, what, what? <laughs> hey, do you think that was to set that up because he didn't, Jamarlo didn't fight it? They not, they from, they from real Houston. Ain't nobody slapping them football for free. And then his brother beat him up though. The brother's fought I'm saying, that's just tell you it was, it was real stuff, but I'm saying. I mean, either is Caleb, like, he, he's from like, kind of like a, they a went rough house. that side of the deal. That's what I'm saying. Like they just just judging them by the type of dudes they are. Hey, or okay, but because they've kind of been stagnant, do you think his team would be like, okay, lock that opposite core down? There you go. That's why I like that hand there. Anyway, I do the same thing. Oh boy. What do you think? 
I'll go. Yeah, seventy would be my last one. It'll be hard, but it'll be good. All right. Good stuff. Boy. Got you on time. I don't have the time. Come on. Good stuff. All done. Yep. Good stuff. Go, 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 go. Oh boy. That's a 15 RM. <laughs> Your ring? No, Christian was calling me. I just, that's what the fuck is called. Oh, do you have one of them? Oh, uh, we're a ring. Lock down on the side. Don't get shifty. There you go. Alright, you got two minutes off and we're gonna go to weighted push-ups. So you're gonna put the weight vest on. We got two minutes off. Should we, how many push-ups we got? Twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> Look like Bobby Green. <laughs> well you know what's so crazy? Like when my NFL guys put that shit on, it was like up to like here on the I was like, why is that thing so low? But it's like low on me too. <laughs> got you. Minute off. Yeah, like you know, prior. I mean, prior. Three. Three. I got you on time. But yeah, but like prior puts that thing on. He's six nine. And then comes up like because he's six nine. Yeah. Because you're not supposed. That's a giant yeah. size. Minute. That's it. That twenty two one, twenty two. And then the pen lay rows in forever. Pendulary, right? Dead stops. I love pendulary, right? They're the worst. We have three sets of 25. Three sets of 25. <laughs> yeah. God damn. <laughs> this is that off. You get, hey, I, you know, I'll tell you when you told me that November was more of a realistic, I like, it got me way more happy because I was like, we could do shit like this. Yeah, they won it uh, November 11th at MSG. Yeah, and so I was like, that made me way more happy because we got to do way more shit here. Because you can't do 325 when you're like eight weeks out of a fight. No. So when do they? When do you learn more about that shit? Soon, after a couple more fights play out, like we'll have more like uh, realistic. So is now that Holland guy on the rise? Yeah, I like. How quickly does he go up? He'll he'll be ranked inside the top fifteen now. So like I could potentially fight him. That's like, what, I'll fight him. That's what I thought. Yeah. Is that a good fight for you? Go. Yeah, just because the way like his body style is. Like, yeah, One twenty. Go for it. Russell, Keep that hip up a little more. Hip up a little more. Hip a little more. There you go. Want that core up? Tap and go, right? Pendulay row? Yeah. Not, not at that row. No. Correct. <clears throat> You're good. Two.
<laughs> when you hit 20, dude. Uh, that's like 20. <laughs> yeah. As it was clanking like consistently, and then it was like, wait, wait, wait. I was like, all right, yeah, that's a good number then. Um, come on. Yeah. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. Keep, see how you're bending it for a tricep? Keep your arm straight. Straight pull. There you go. It's that serratus. There you go. Money. 25, just like that. That shit come up and then pull the arm straight down. No flexion in that elbow. Try to keep that elbow straight. There you go. 25. There you go. So it's almost, it's like a lap, right? Serratus, yeah. So it's just like, it's the, it's the fingers that like, remember Arnold had like those fingers yeah. on the side? That's, that's all it is. It attaches to the lat and kind of like on that front side. But yeah, great for stability, especially for that shoulder. Good stuff. I bet. You ain't coming out. Yeah. Me and Bain going out together. Kristen, two funerals. I'll throw some flowers on him. Like, <laughs> see ya, babe. Have fun, homie. I'm going right in. <laughs> Hell no. Some of the sand bowl stuff? Uh, yeah. Forgot about that shit. Kind of blade and doing the contrast. Like the hot and the cold. Oh yeah. They have it up, they have it up at the facility too though. Oh nice. So he does it like, First thing he gets there, does that in the morning, cold tub. He'll do it here on weekends though. No, it's all right. Thank you. I forgot. I got a fucking call with my fucking mental coach at fucking two thirty. Um. Yeah. So we're just heading back to good old Philadelphia. I gotta jump on the fucking phone with my boy Brian Kane at 2.30. I chill out with the wife for a little bit and then we have practice again tonight. Um, my elbow is pretty much better. Still like, the shit still gets a little sore but I'm pretty much back to full training. Like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna grapple a couple of times and then um, yeah, there's some local cards coming up in like October, November. So we're just gonna see how some of these fights play out for a potential opponent and just wait to hear from the UFC. So uh, yeah, I'm just training like how I 
I train all the time. So, fight camp, no fight camp, fighter, no fight. I'm in the gym, it's my job, so that's where I'll be at, but uh, yeah. We're gonna try to drop one of these. It's every, if it's not Kurt, my wife is gonna try to pick it up. We're gonna keep trying to put out the content, so uh, make sure you're following me, make sure you're following Kurt, fuck Joe Pfeiffer, make sure you're following Steady Picks, and follow the podcast.